I played for the New Bold on Stour Strikers. <laughs> so could you could you repeat that one more time? Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're quite big. The New Bold on Stour Strikers. Well, of course you play in the uh, in the Fantasy Premier League. It's not actually fantasy. Yeah. It's just sponsored yeah. by Fantasy Books. And if you want to know the abbreviation, which is how we're more popularly known, New Bold on Stour Strikers, it's NOS. Ah, and that's how you got that rather unfortunate sponsor, didn't you? You got a bit of trouble for that one, didn't you? When uh, when, yeah, when, when, when yeah. NOS kind of started sponsoring your games. I remember that. The that's big hoo ha in 07. Yeah. Bloody hell, man. Um, it was pretty crazy back then. I watched a documentary, though, and you came across proper good, man. You look proper nice. Well, thank you. I gave them four hours of interview, and they only used the two minutes when I talk about the huge amount of NOS I used up in the year. Well, I think it's important but, we play that clip now. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll just press play on the, uh, on the thing. In 07, uh, Barry Linecar, professional indoor rumble netball player, was caught at an outdoor party in Lancaster with a considerable amount of NOS. We managed to sit down with him to discuss his relationship to the NOS and if it was affected by the sponsorship. Barry, great to see I you. People talk about this as if it's something bad, but you can just do as much NOS as you want. Continue to be the most successful indoor rumple netball player in the country. Oh, I think it's amazing. Me mum does it, me gran does it. Stephen Hawking does it. <laughs> who, who is actually uh, not Stephen Hawking, you might think. We're talking about indoor rumple uh, netball um, left wing back for the mud slappers, uh, Stephen Hawking.